Alright, I know the camera's gonna make this sound like I'm playing with a bunch of forks they got at a 99 cent store, but alright. Now, an interesting comment made on Facebook about my videos was that, again, I will use a term that only, like, maybe one guy, if that, understands. Like, the last video I said cro -Mag. I think Candlely Commentary mentioned that, uh, or Reactionary Commentary, or Josh, fuck. Or that fucking guy that looks like Mufasa if he was a white guy instead of an African lion. Regardless, now I wanted to talk about. Let's see, how do you do it? How do you go so far into esotericism that? Only one guy is able to watch your videos and understand what the fuck you're talking about. Well, I'm about to tell you how to do that shit. And it, it basically goes down to four things. First off, you gotta act like the camera or the person behind the camera has been with you all your life. Has seen every single link that you've checked, every blog that you've read, every movie that you saw, every anime that you jacked off to. You gotta act like that camera is you. He, he's seen you in television, he's seen you out in the streets, every every place you've been to, he's been to. Like, you're a conjoined twin with a person on the other side of the camera. And by that logic, that would mean that your conjoined twin is your penis won't mine is at least since the you I'm talking about isn't necessarily the you to camera but the you the person that's gonna try to imitate my video style which I doubt you will since it's not gonna get you viewers unless you like the 150 sub mark that I finally worked six years to get unless that's what you kinda want and if that is then Keep trying, you're gonna get it. Six years isn't necessarily that long or that short. Going into the next step is that you have to be as inconsistent as possible. Maybe I'll make a video today reviewing a soap opera which is something I've actually wanted to do for a while now and then after you finish watching this reviewing the soap opera you gotta think hmm that wasn't obscure enough uh, maybe I should fucking make a video about Golden Dawn. Don't actually explain what Golden Dawn is. No, no. Wait for a person who's watching it to go on Google, type that shit down, get scared, and then, uh, fucking delete their history. Because they think you're fucking crazy. Don't stick to one subject in a row, like, three videos talking about soap operas and transitioning to Golden Dawn? No, no. Do you want to kill about, talk about killing Greek rappers that are essentially immortal technique? 
and basically raising that bootleg Nazi flag. You want to make videos about that shit? Do it, man. In fact, YOLO isn't even the best way to describe what I'm trying to tell you. Fucking just do it. That That's basically the way. Not even Drake. Straight up Nike. Now, the third thing you need to do is uh, you need to make your terminology not match the subject of your video. So maybe I'll use, let's say, for the soap opera videos, a bunch of fascist terminology. Not the stuff that you can see if you maybe read something available like Mein Kampf. No, some weird... Perf not even a professor, just like some weird 18th century ideologue that's been lost in the sand of times. His terminology and his thesis for these fast terms. Or, or maybe some blogger that some shitty sphere on the internet likes. You're going to use a bunch of mold buggy in terms to describe the soap opera. And then for the fucking Golden Dawn video, you'd probably start using a bunch of 4chan terms. Oh, okay, well, well then again, the people that are on Golden Dawn's dick are probably autistic themselves, so 4chan isn't, isn't very far from the fray. Uh, how about you use pro wrestling terminology? Oh, no, that's autistic, too. Well, let's go a little less style and something more dumb, so more chrome. I guess I'd say soap opera terminology, but but let's go a little more gay. Okay, let's maybe use like hmm boy band terminology. Or Instagram terminology, just some find some way of throwing in the word selfie, or I ship this, or Kawaii Desu into the fucking video. I'm sure they'll love it. The viewers, the guys that are that cl clicked on this video because of somehow they were watching a. a video on Miley Cyrus and they saw me in the recommend list somehow and they clicked the video and they're like holy shit this is fucking crazy uh... I can't like last more than 30 seconds watching this shit which uh... is usually the average mindset I've spoken to people that have actually saw my videos and uh, and aren't part of the internet spheres that I stalk and they say that, that that's usually the average time, 30 seconds per video. So once you got that down, I think the last step is that you got to do one overtly insane thing in every video. Something like, something so fucking borderline homosexual or somewhat sociopathic in some ways. That it creeps everyone out. Like, uh, maybe you're gonna, like, pretend you're about to whip out your dick, or maybe you're gonna say a fucking haiku, or maybe you're gonna just, like, take a bucket of your old jizz and pour it on the screen. Uh, just do one overtly psychotic thing per video. Just so that, uh, because no one's gonna last that long. But if someone who's of a low attention span manages to watch a whole fucking video because, I don't know, they act, they left the tab on and they were playing some Call of Duty, and then they see a guy like pour a bucket of jizz over that shit, they're going to be like, wow, I like that guy. <laughs> Alright, YouTube. So that's what you should do. If you want to emulate this style, you won't gain subscribers that way.
But what will happen is that you'll cement yourself as a, a really interesting internet personality, actually. And I'm not the only one that uses this style, actually. Uh, a lot of guys I know um, that I don't like, by the way, because their political views somehow have less consistency than mine. And it's more on a mainstream side. But a lot of people do do this, and they don't have a lot of subscribers, but they may have more subscribers than me, because they're not as fucking a field about it. But it, it is something you'll find. Now, another thing is that you gotta form a shady catchphrase. Something that is so unoriginal, is so bizarre, that it, it ventures into s the realm of Sonichu. For me, it's the suck my dick catchphrase, which somehow lasted two years, yet yeah, people still act like it's a new catchphrase. Like, I just came up with that shit yesterday or something. Or... You can throw some other shit, but, uh... That's usually the way it works. It just have somewhat of a effortless tradition, if you can call it that. I wouldn't call it a tradition, more of a habit. Tradition usually means that there was probably another guy that made a lot of videos or was in front of a camera a lot of times. He died, but I kept the tradition on. I kept the habit of ending every video with the SMD bomb. But no, that that's not the case. There isn't a guy in the 1950s that was sort of a autistic John Wayne that ended every soap opera or sitcom comedy shit with the classic SMD. There, there wasn't that. But... <sighs> And then he eventually got old and fucking died and wanted to keep that catchphrase in memory. But you usually do need a something stupid like that. Also sound very drunk. You know, slur a lot. Mumble a lot. Try not to speak up so much. In fact, uh, fucking fidget, nigga. Fidget, nigga. <laughs> That that will get people like disturbed, and uh, if you can like switch your the speed of the way you speak, and shit like that, act like you don't even know what you're gonna fucking say next. That's gonna get you fucking attention and shit like that. But uh, that's besides the point. <sighs> Broke niggas, you heard? It's Mr. Wonka Seven. And suck my dick. <laughs>